Hey there, tank mates. It is Wednesday, um, April 24th, I think. Um, yeah, it might be the 24th. I don't know what date it is. It's Wednesday. And I just received some plants from a fellow YouTuber, another friend. Uh, so I'm going to open them. Um, these came all the way from Michigan. I'm in Palm Desert. Um, and and uh, she shipped them on Monday. So, I mean, that's record time. They got here really quick. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll open them up. I'm guessing everything's going to be just fine. Box looks terrific. So we'll see. There's the box. It's taped all the way around. That helps hold the moisture in too. Just sealed everything, all the little bad stuff out. Let me uh, set up my tripod here. So we'll just cut all this part out and uh, point this at the at the box. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. Let me raise this up a little bit. Okay, and there's a big thank you and a smiley face on the side. All right, this would be great. Handy dandy razor knife. Boost plants labels. I guess she's bought plants from Boost in the past. I see them go by all the time on Instagram. Oh, and packed in styrofoam. Look at that. That's very cool. So I will reuse that. Oh, look at this. Guess you can all see that. Some of the insulated bubble foil. And here we go. And more there. We get the box out of the way. Put this back inside the box. Okay, so Cryptocorian Eusteriana, there's two of those. They're in Ziplocs and the paper towels wrapped and they're really wet. So I'm guessing they're gonna be just fine. Oh wow, they look amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, I love Crips, too. I love the way they spread. Here's a really nice one. They spread on a rhizome also. Actually, you know, I take that back. It might be a stolen, because they'll spread right at the surface. And then here's... That's huge. That is spectacular. Nice roots. This looks like another crown starting right here. You can see that, that's a new leaf right there, and a slight, slightly, just slightly older leaf right there on a stolen. Okay, so that's Cryptochorine uh, Eusteriana. And this one I got a great time trying to pronounce. Uh, Cryptochorine Pontadirifolia. And there's also a Crypt, I think they're Wendy. She's got Crypt W Flamingo. So I think those are a, a variant of uh, Crypt Wendy. So let's see. And again, sopping wet, so these probably would have been good out there for maybe a week. Fortunately, we didn't have to go that route. Yeah, these are the pink flamingos, wow. These are absolutely lovely. Look at that. And I think they're a function of light. The brighter the light, the pinker they'll get. And we'll find out. Really beautiful. Those are the Crypt Wendy, uh, uh, we'll call them just Crypt Pink Flamingo. But I think they're Crypt Wendy. Eye. And this is the Pontadera Folia. Cribs truly are some of my favorite um, aquatic plants. They're fun to grow. They're relatively easy. They're a good uh, a good substrate root feeder. Oh yeah. 
There it is, Crypt Ponded Air Folia. Oh, and there's three. They are lovely. Now I gotta get all these puppies in the, in the substrates. There they are. Kind of a long lanceolate leaf. I guess that'd be hastate, actually. Go back to plant morphology, or leaf morphology. This would be a hastate leaf. This, on the Asteriana, would be a lanceolate leaf, shaped like a lance head. Isn't that great? All right, well, there we go. And thank you for uh, the plants, Tara. Thank you very much. And uh, all right, so here we go. This is my 29 gallon full of a uh, guppy, guppy, yeah, that's right. Take two. This is my 29 gallon with the beta fry and the little Corydora uh, fry. They're not so much fry anymore, they're really juveniles. And this is the tank that I put the um, Cryptochorine Eusteriana in. There's the bigger of the two. And I stuck about a half a tab of, you know, I, I broke the tabs in half of the API root tabs. Stuck a half one under there. And there's uh, the smaller of the two. And I stuck a quarter of a tab under that one. Give these a little bit of a boost. And then let's head over here to the 75 gallon. And I stuck one of the pink flamingos there. And then one in the middle and then one over at this end. And again, I put a, a quarter of a tab of API uh, root tabs underneath each one. And then the three uh, Cryptochorine Pontadariana, I put in little pots for now. And uh, uh, with a little bit of uh, fluval stratum and some sand and some gravel, it was just some, some uh, leftover uh, substrate from another tank and a quarter tab of uh, API in each one of these. So they should do just fine. Uh, that's the way these all started. These are the Crypt 1EI green and the Crypt 1EI red or bronze, whatever you like. And I put a, a little bit of API in each one of those and they did quite well. So this is uh, just kind of a farm tank for now. I'm just gotta find a, a permanent home for these and I will. Um, I really like those. I like the brightness, the bright color on those, the Ponted Ariana. But yeah, you yeah, gotta love this, this pink on these Crip Pink Flamingos. They are really spectacular. Look at that, and that really roughly leaves too. Very cool. There we go. All right, and then back to Eusteriana, the two Eusteriana. Thing's huge almost to the surface. Won't be long before that one's right behind it. Oh, pardon the glare. All right. So that gets you caught up. 